Hamilton theorem in any network, linear network, consisting of two, consisting of two or more sources. If any linear network containing the consisting of the two or more sources, okay, the response of these sources, the response of these sources, the response of these sources is equal to the when they are operating individually. Some of the when they are operating individually. Okay, that is nothing but superposition theorem. For example, in this one diagram, I am showing this diagram now. In this diagram, for example, slides, this diagram. The slides are not changing, sir. Okay, if the slide is having the three three circuits now, now. No, sir. No, sir. No. It is showing first slide. Set only first statement. Yes, sir. Now. No, sir. Now fine, sir. Yes, sir. So, so a superposition theorem is nothing but if any linear network consisting of two or more sources, two or more sources, the response of the this the response of this these sources it will be algebraic sum of the when they are acting individually when they are acting individually for example in this one i am taking here i am taking here vs is the one of, one of the source source response voltage source response and is is the current source response okay when these two sources are acting the our requirement is r3 i am taking the load here R3 is I am taking the load here. When these two responses are acting, the load resistance of the current, the load resistance of the current is nothing but if, if you are getting some value, high value, high value. So this value is equal to the when single source is acting. That is nothing but in this case, first case, VS is acting. Okay. And IS is deactivated. Here, IS is the current source. So when the current source is there, it will be open circuited. So first case, VS is acting, current source is deactivating in this case. So at that time, the current will be I1. Okay, find the current I1. Next case, when IS source is acting, current source is acting, and voltage source is deactivating, deactivating. So voltage source is deactivating nothing but it is a voltage source. So it is short circuited. In this case, we have to find I2 value. Okay, so sum of the I1 plus I2 is equal to the when the sources, two sources are acting, I. Okay. Sum of these two, two source current is equal to the, when the two sources are acting current value. All of understand the statement? All of you? Voice? Yes, sir. One second, repeat, sir. One second, repeat, sir. The sum of the sources, when the sources are acting at that time, the current value, load current value, I, here. Okay, R3 I am R. Resistance R3 la flow a current I is equal to the when single source acting current and another single source acting current, some of these two currents will be equal to the capital I. I1 plus I2 will be the value will be equal to the capital I only. That is, in this example, if VS is acting nothing but IS is deactivation, it is current source. So it is open circuited. Find out in this case I1 value. Okay. Next case is 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 acting and VS is deactivating. Deactivating nothing but here, make it here, short circuit. Short circuit. In that case, current will be I2. Find out the I2 value. Sum of the I1 and I2 will be equal to the I value. All of you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. This is your theorem statement. This is your theorem statement. Okay. Remember, voltage source is nothing but short circuited, current source is nothing but open circuited. I am taking the one example. This is what one example having the two sources that is 32 volts and 3 amps. 32 volts and 3 amps. Sorry, 32 volts and 2 amps. Okay. Thank you. 
Oh, PPT can be cinema? Yes, sir. Okay. Here I'm taking a 30 volts and five amps, two sources. Okay, I'm taking the load is, load is three amps, three, three ohms, three ohms is the load. So from the superposition theorem, first case is when the two sources is acting, when the two sources are acting, that is nothing but 32 ohms and 32 volts and two amps is acting. In that case, we have to find the current value. We have to find the current value. Next one is when only 32, 32 volts is acting, in that case, the current is I1. When two amps acting, the current is I2. So this total I, this total I equal to I1 plus I2. This total I is equal to I1 plus I2. Okay. If it is okay, Nama. Voice. Yes, okay. So I'm going going for first case. First case is in normal method. I'm going to solve in normal method. Okay. In normal method, two sources are acting. That case, and that case, I want to finding the current value. I want to finding the current value. For that one, see here. First of all, I'm doing this. Uh, 4 ohms and this 4 ohms and 32 voltage source are in series connection. So I am going to convert this one into current source conversion. Okay. So how can you convert the convert current source conversion from this two? From this two? V by R equal to I. I equal to 8 amperes. I D equal to 8, 8 amperes. So this resistor is connected to parallel. Okay. 8 amps there is connected to parallel when you are converting the voltage source to conversion into current source conversion. Okay. And 12 volt ohms will be there already. And 2 amps will be there. And 1 ohm, 3 ohms. Our requirement is 3 ohms register. Across the current, across the 3 ohms register. So now see. So what happened? This 8 ohms and 2 ohms is same direction. Okay. This 8 ohms, 8 amps and 2 amps is in same direction. It is total 10 amps. 10 amps. And 4 and 12 are in parallel. That value is be 3 amps. Okay. All of understand from previous circuit diagram here to here. You understand? 8 and 2. Same direction. So 10 amps. 4 and 12 is parallel. Simplification, circuit reduction simplification. Can you understand? Babu, reply me. No, sir. Sir, PPT is a text tracer, 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 sir. Sir, PPT Only circuit matter my job is soon, sir. Sir, annotate Jason can be sir. Achha, achha. Okay, so on. Okay. One second, Amma. I'm screen share the PPT to How is it okay? Babu. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, listen here. This eight, this eight amps and two amps are in same direction now. Same direction. Total will be ten amps and four ohms and twelve volts will be twelve ohms are in parallel. So that value will be three, three and ten amps. Remaining circuit will be same. Okay, so one more, one moment, three ohms. After this one, what happened? Convert this one into again this ten amps, three ohms. Convert what this one into again. Convert this one into this total power. Voltage. Total power converted into voltage. Current source to voltage source. So what happened? V equal to IR now. V equal to IR. That is. 30 volts. 3. 10 into 3. Pass now, sir. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. MTK? I'll let you know, sir. Okay. I'll let you know, sir. So, total is 30. 30 amps. 30. It is wrong. Here it is wrong, it is 30 volts. 30, 30 volts. Okay, it is 30 volts. So again, this uh, resistor is coming to series connection. This resistor is coming to series to 30 volts. Okay, so one ohm, one ohm, three ohms. If it is, it is single loop. So what is the current here? I equal to V by R. That equal to 30 by 312. Total current is 4.285 amps. Okay, all of you understand up to here. Without superposition yes, theorem, without superposition theorem, uh, two sources are, when these two sources are active. In that case, load current is 4.285. Okay. Otherwise, I can repeat one second. Tell me. Abu. No need, sir. Understand. Right. Next, I'm going for superposition theorem. So here we are in the first of all in superposition theorem. First of all, identify the number of sources. Here I'm having the, the two sources. That is 32, 32 volt source. Another one is two amps. Another one is two ampere source. Two sources will be there. Okay. First case. I'm taking the first case is here the case one. See this one. Here the case one. I'm taking in case one, 32 volts is acting. So and two amps is deactivating. Two amps is deactivating. So it is deactivation. When when going to another source is deactivation, whether you have to see it is voltage source or current source. Tell me, it is voltage source or current source? Current, current source. So open this one. I am here open. Okay. Here. A, B, for example, if you take. I am open this one. Okay. So we have formed the two loops. One loop is with 32 volts, 4 amps, and 12, 12 ohms. Another loop is 1 ohm, 30 amps. Sorry. Three, 1 ohm, 3 ohm, and 12 ohms. This is your another one. Okay, this is our another loop. So find out the current across three amps. Can you apply mesh analysis and node analysis? Can you apply mesh analysis, node analysis? Tell me. Abu. Abu, are you, 
Are you listening, my voice? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First case. This is a circuit diagram. I want to what is the what I have to do? I want to require here current. So apply here mesh transistors or no transistors. I'm going to apply here mesh transistors. Okay. I'm going to apply here mesh transistors. So otherwise I'm going to apply here no transistors. Anything? If you apply no transistors here. And what is V? And it is ground. Okay, and it is ground. Okay, so always current is leaving from here I one, and here I two, and here I three. So what is the equation? V minus thirty two. I one plus I two plus I three. So V minus thirty two by how much value four, four. plus V minus V by twelve plus V by one plus three four. Okay, equal to zero. So take it common V one by four plus one by thirty one by twelve plus one by four. Equal to how much value? Thirty-two by four. The thirty-two by five. We can discuss it. So, what is the value of this one? What is the value of this one? Tell me. Eight. How much we got? Zero point five three one. One divided by. Twelve plus one divided by four. This value is zero point five three one. V equal to how much value? Thirty two by four. Eight. So eight divided by zero point five eight three. Fifteen point zero six five. V value is hey zero point eight thirteen point seven six number. Thirteen point seven two two. Thirteen point seven two two. What is the what is our answer? Which which quantity we required here? Current across the three ohms. Three ohms resistor. resistor. So what is that one? I three. I three now. So what write write down here? I equal to V by four. That equal to thirteen point eight by four. How much value? Three point four three. Three point four three or three point four five? Anything? Three point four. We got the current is three point four amps. It is first case. I one. Show me the picture. In that chunniya ma. We got it now. Madam, Madam, blue color last one, you know. Yes, sir. Three point four two eight. Okay, I one value. That is when thirty two volts acting. Okay, all of understand. All of you. Yes, yes sir. sir. This is your circuit diagram. This is your total circuit diagram. In this diagram, they are asking current across the. Three ohms by using superposition theorem. Okay, when you go for superposition theorem, first you have to identify the number of sources. Here, thirty-two ohms will be there, five amps will be there. Okay, thirty-two ohms will be there, five amps will be there. After that one, after that one, first activate thirty-two ohms. Ohms. Deactivate two amps. Deactivate two amps. When you have to activating this. Two amps. That is nothing but identify. It is current source or voltage source. It is current source. It is current source. So open this one. That is your diagram. Open this one. After that one, apply any mesh transistors, no transistors, or current. When two currents are in par, when two resistors are in parallel, if the current is coming, current technique also you have to apply here. This technique also you have to apply. All of understand. So I find out the current is. 
i1 value that is you got it 3.428 this is the first case this is the first case in case of the superposition theorem go for the second case go for the second case for the second case second case nothing but this is a sequence circuit diagram in this diagram i am going to activating two ohms so i am activating two amps after that one uh, i am going to deactivating deactivating this 32 volts so it is short circuited all of understand all of you yes sir so this is short circuited in this case we have to find the current across this resistor can you tell me anybody how can you solve this one why right? because in previous one the volts is acting two forms two loops is forming two loops is forming i am going to know answers okay here here like this diagram will be there i want to this current anybody tell me how can you find this one changing into voltage source changing to voltage source which one two amps current is changing to voltage source yes sir so what happened we can form two meshes and we can solve it okay no doubt okay it is okay no problem okay no problem and that's how we can solve otherwise think one one, one other see we can delete uh, two ohms the system 12 ohms and 4 ohms are is parallel no parallel yes sir so that that value will be 3 ohms Okay. You understand? This and this are parallel. The value will be twelve. Okay. Sorry, the value will be three ohm. Three ohms. Up to your order of understand? Yes, sir. Okay. After that one, see. Remember one concept. Incoming current is coming. Two resistors are in parallel. Find out the one. Resistors current values. See this one. Otherwise, they do the combination is voltage pair. Okay, it is simplification. Another simplification. See here. All of understand up to here. Up to this yes, sir. Okay, I am going for this technique. Again, I am converting this three amps, two amps, and three ohms. Convert it into voltage, lead, voltage controller. So voltage. Okay. So what happened? This one, three into two, six volts, and three ohms is series connection, single loop. I equal to six by this one. That is zero point eight five seven. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Otherwise, you go for current division technique for this one. All right, I told in current division technique, incoming current will be there. Two resistors are in parallel. R one, R two. This is I one, I two. I one, I two. What is I? I want I two now for this one. Same diagram. It is three ohms. It is. Sorry, it is one four ohms. It is four ohms. Three plus one. It is three ohms. What is I two? I two equal total current. What is the total current? Two into opposite resistance. Three by three plus four. So now my three plus four one gamma. Three plus one four. So what is that one? Six by seven. What is the value of six by seven? Zero point eight five seven. It is same now. Yes, sir. It is another technique. Current division technique. Otherwise, go for this voltage so current source and voltage uh, resistor part. We will convert this one into voltage source. So six volts, and it is coming to parallel. Okay, and it is coming to parallel. Single loop. Same current is coming now. Okay. If you use any technique. Otherwise, one more one student is told that. Uh, Convert this one into convert this one into voltage source to this one. Okay, it is not possible. It is possible for this one only. No, no, sorry. Here, 
One student is told that this two amps is going to be convert from here only direct convert into voltage source. So what happened this one? Four, twelve. What is this value? Twenty-four. Twenty-four volts. One, three. In this case, first we have to find out the resistor value. After that one, find out the current value. Okay, it is coming to same. Okay, so after this one, adding these two currents. In general case, in general method, we got the current is four point two eight five. When you go, when you activating, when you activating thirty two volts, in that case current will be. This value. When you are activating two amps, the current value is this one value. If you are adding these two, if you are getting this one, it is verified. Superposition theorem. Abu, reply me. It is yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you understand superposition theorem? In superposition theorem, first you have to identify the number of sources. Okay. After that one, activate one source, deactivate another source, solve the value, current value. Next one, activate the other source, deactivate first source, solve current value. Add these two currents. That will be value will be in general method. How much current we are getting equal to that current value? Okay. Next one is I am going for one more problem. Take this problem. Here I am using here forty volts and twenty volts. Okay, two six four. First case it is step one. In step one, I am going to two sources are activating. Two sources are activating. I am using here when two sources are activating, I am applying here load analysis. So what happened? V minus forty by two plus V minus six by two plus V minus zero by four. Okay, that is here. From we get the value of the V will be. Bahu PP to okay, Nama. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so the value of the V will be twenty volts. Twenty volts. Twenty volts. <laughs> <laughs> प्रेमस्ट <laughs> First case, I am applying here node analysis. In this case, node analysis. Flashback. Niku, ni future karna, mi parents karna. Adev kai pen gada? Ekka da kalak kurdo, akka da kalik kaura. So gayi na kordi, gayi ani. Inko sari adya ne man anna wo. Kasa kasa. Isn't it? When you are operating like this, you will going to reporting to college. Okay, students. Okay, can I start? Yes, sir. Ah, children, Baba, Jaya, Tanu, Nee, Nee, Jumu, Yeh, Shyam, Karamani, Ka report, Elbo, Tawalak. Me class, Eh, Chodi ki. Don't do like this. V1 minus 40 by 2. V1 minus 0 by 6. V1 minus 0 by 4. 
from here v1 value we got ppt kanipisthunna amma yes sir yes sir yes sir v1 we, we got the v1 value kanipisthunna sir okay we got the v1 value is 21.819 volts okay our requirement is voltage across the they taking the load is this one it they they asking the find the current across 6 ohms so this is the load current so what is that one i2 so v1 by 6 that is 21.819 by 21.891 by 6 that is we got the value of the current is 3.696 volts current we got this one okay all of understand in general method the load current will be 3.6396 coming for the superposition theorem coming for the superposition theorem in this case first i am activating here i am taking the act to 20 volt source so i am taking this 20 volts acting so what happened other other source see if it is voltage source or current source voltage so short circuit this one i am going to short circuiting here short circuiting here okay find out the current across this one again i am applying here no analysis v1 minus 0 by 2 v1 by 6 v1 minus 20 by 4 from here we got the v value substituting uh, after getting the v value 5.95 i want this current now so v1 v by 6 value 5.59 by 6 value is going to the the current value that is the first case okay it is the first case that is it is in when 20 volts acting 20 volts acting this is the first one okay next go for the second case when the, in second case what happen this source is 40 volts is acting 20 volts is deactivating that is nothing but h short circuit so what happen v minus 40 by 2 v minus v v minus 0 by 6 v by v sorry it is is all sources is 20 volts okay it is 40 volts acting first case i pinga ma second case 20 volts act i pinga third case two sources are acting okay in third case two sources are acting so what have happened v minus 20 by 0 in this case the current will be how much value you got 4.54 okay so see here when the in first case 3.96 it is when 40 volts acting when add to this one what happened what is the value of this one when adding this two that is 4.54 okay so when this all sources are acting all of understand sir in case 2 can you go to case 2 sir in case 2 Case two, two, two ohms resistor, six ohms resistor parallel lo onna yani solve che achha. Ha che chhatu kudhe achha ma. Alla che si nodal analysis use che karna matam. Ha nodal analysis use che karna ma. Yes, okay. two inka six parallel lo ondi. Okay, ma chhatu chhama. Two six parallel ga? Ah uh, yes sir. Value under? One point five. One point five. Apni kya mera circuit ikara? One point five also ga. ओके रेसिस्टर यस सर ट्वेंटी वोल्ट्स इतना फोर एम्स फोर ओम्स इतना फाइव पॉइंट फाइव रहेगा माँ यस सर फाइव पॉइंट फाइव करंट इतना सॉरी वी बाय आर ट्वेंटी बाय फाइव पॉइंट फाइव फाइव पॉइंट फाइव इतना चलिए थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स करंट 3.66 यस सर आ करंट ఏంది ఇక్కడ నుంచి వచ్చే కరెంట్ అది 3.66 ఓకే यस सर 3.66 కరెంట్ ఇక్కడ నుంచి వస్తుంది ఇప్పుడు మళ్ళీ మేము అప్లై చేసుకోవాలి ఇందాక చెప్పాను కదా టెక్నిక్ 
Incoming current is coming. Two resistors are in parallel. Incoming incoming current is coming. Current division technique. Two resistors are in parallel. And after that, we will have one current in parallel. I across six ohms. That is nothing but. Then that three point six one into opposite resistance two by total resistance five. Okay. So three point six into two divided by total is. Plus two eight zero point zero nine. Then getting yes, the sir nine zero. See I get it. So now Malay that is calculation. Better I put the number. Okay sir. Resistance okay, find current find jali. Malay current is an apply as quality. Sorry. Uh, two technique. Two resistors are in parallel. Incoming current is there no. The technique apply as quality. Then getting the node answer is the simple I put the number single node current. Yes sir. मेशान से कहते हैं बच्चों मल्ली को टू इक्वेशन्स राय दोस्तों टू इक्वेशन्स राय से आई टू माइनस आई वन जा इपर मेरे आई वन अनुकूल रखो डी इपर मेरे टू इक्वेशन्स राय इधर आई वन अनुकूल रखो क्लाक वाइड डायरेक्शन हो इधर आई टू अनुकूल रखो क्लाक वाइड डायरेक्शन हो तो अब तो मेरे ज थर्ड Applying two actuator sources. Forty volts from the current is also there. Okay. Twenty volts from the current is also there. Okay. So this current plus this current nothing but total current. All of you understand? All of you. Can yes, sir. You, can you do this one for a Omar? Thirty volts and five amps. अदरवाइज़ आई कैन डू बाबू चप्पड़ा माँ विगो पर अंदर प्रॉब्लम पर सुपर पोजिशन दिया हम बॉयस एस सर एस सर थ्री फिफ्टी नाइन ओके ओके माँ टेक दिस प्रॉब्लम पर होमर इन नेक्स्ट क्लास में इसी दा मैक्सिमम पावर ट्रांसफर थ्योरम मैक्सिमम पावर एंड रेसिप्रोसिटी थ्योरम सो मैक्सिमम पावर एंड रेसिप्रोसिटी थ्योरम ओके इन नेक्स्ट क्लास टेक दिस वन फॉर होमवर्क एंड आल्सो ओके सर ओके ऑल ऑफ यू गॉट द टेबलेंस थ्योरम लेक्चर नोट्स यस सर नॉट ऑन थ्योरम लेक्चर नोट्स यस सर इन योर टेबलेंस थ्योरम नॉट ऑन थ्योरम पीपीटी Only PPT will be having the one problem and statement. Okay, the one is not on theory of PPTs. Okay, after that one I will send the lecture notes. The one is theory of lecture notes and not on theory of lecture notes. Okay, so two. and I will send the super super question theory of lecture notes for today. Okay, sir, lab manual, sir. अप्लीकबल फर् द ओके पावर कैलकुलेशंस मेको वोल्टेज करंट मात्र में आइडेंटिफाई చేయొచ్చు కానీ ఇక్కడ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ 30 వోల్ట్స్ యాక్టివేషన్ ఉన్నప్పుడు చూడండి మనం ఇక్కడ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఈ ప్రాబ్లం ఉందాము ఫస్ట్ ప్రాబ్లం చూడండి మనం 32 వోల్ట్స్ యాక్టివేషన్ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఇక్కడ కరెంట్ ఎంత అమ్మా 3.42 ఓకే 
ఇక్కడ త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ టూ ఈ కేసు తప్ప అలా ప్లీజ్ అనేది దిస్ పాయింట్ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ when 32 volts is acting when 32 volts is acting that that case current will be 3.42 what is the power of for this case what is the power tell me p equal to 3 into i vi otherwise ni current undi resistor ni amma which p equal to vi okay v equal to i r so i square r ante ga in this case p equal to i square r you just come a formula yes sir this one 3.42 volts square into how much distance 3 ohms what is the value of this one tell me 3.42 square into 3 ohms 35 in this case we got the 35 watts next case take this case take this case second case what is the value of this one here power p equal to ma artham aitunda ma artham aitunda ma yes sir yes sir whole square into r okay how much value here we got 2.20 0.852 square into 3 2.17 2.20 okay 2 i got 2.17 okay no problem okay so this value plus this value what is the value 35 plus 2.7 37 gamma 37 37 watts okay artham ainda next stage chestunna ante rendu source activate ayyadu chustunna idi first case gamma rendu source activate ayyadapudu ee case la power cheppandi naaku in this case what is the power p equal to i square r that equal to 54.9 sir 4.285 whole square into 3 ohms enta ma enta chindi babu 55.9 okay 55 chindi okay 55 watts chudandi 55 watts vachindi ikkada enta chindi 37 watts vachindi ante superposition theorem is not applicable for the power applications okay power response key is not applicable only voltage and current sources it is applicable for computing the voltage or current ante you understand this is very important point meek viva question adu vachu kodam kontha mandi viva la ala understand yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. superposition is not applicable for the power responses okay it is not applicable for the power responses it is applicable for the only the calculation of the current or voltage sources okay all of you understand yes sir for this problem also you can calculate same power calculation it is not coming okay okay ma yes sir any doubts no sir no sir బాబు ఏందమ్మా నో డౌట్ సార్ బాబు డోంట్ యూజ్ షార్ట్ బాక్స్ Okay, man. You can leave. Sigal? Attends it, man. Like? 